Hi, it's Reagan from Tunstall's Teaching Tidbits. And this video is all about how to store those guided math lessons. I was asked this question on Facebook and TPT, and um, I was going to do a blog post about it, but I thought it might be an easier solution to just show you in a video. So here's what I've done to store unit one. I started with a one inch binder to put my lessons in. I think you could fit all nine units in a large binder. So if you like having everything in one spot, I think that would totally work. I just like to keep them um, in smaller chunks for ease of traveling or sticking it in my teacher bag. All right, so inside the binder, I have all my lessons. It probably took about 25 page protectors to get everything in there. At the very front here, I've got my Unit 1 warm-ups. I'm going to do these activities every single day during Unit 1. So for four Mondays, for four Tuesdays, and so on. The activities I chose are standards-based, but they're open-ended. So my kids won't get bored with them, and it helps me hit on everything I need to without taking more than the five minutes that I have for warm-up. <clears throat> they're varied, so the skills that I'm hitting are different for each day of the week. I'm going to go ahead and take this right out of the binder and stick it on my whiteboard in my carpet area for guided math because that's where I'm going to need it the most and I'm going to be referring to it. On the back of that, I went ahead and just slid in my pacing guide. <clears throat> Honestly, I didn't know where else to put it and if I need it, it'll be up there by my carpet area. So that's just my solution to that. All right, so this is the meat of um, the unit. I've got each day, of, each day's lesson here for 20 lessons. I've got my um, lesson information, and then if there are any printables that go with it, I went ahead and slid them in the same page protector. Now, if there are small group games and whole group games, that's different, and I went ahead and prepped them and put them in a tub. We'll get to that in just a minute. So for each lesson, I have my essential question, my objective. This box here is my whole group lesson. Once I do my whole group lesson, um, <clears throat> well, not once I do it, but these questions here are what I'm working my way through as we're working through our whole group lesson. <clears throat> and then here, my material list. If this was anything that I could create on my computer, I went ahead and did that. And that's what, where you'll find it here. From whole group, we move into small group. <clears throat> and then for that small group activity, it's reinforcing what we did in whole group. But I've been able to differentiate it for all my different kiddos that are in my class. Now, um, as you know, on day one of unit one, there's no way that my kids are ready to rotate and I'm ready to pull a small group. But I don't really want to skip this great activity, so I'm going to go ahead and modify for Unit 1, and I'm going to do this as a guided practice that follows up my whole group time. So in this case, for Lesson 1, <clears throat> where our, lesson, our whole group lesson is about how we go home. It's a pretty standard first day math activity and there's the cards for it. So as we finish that up, I'm really trying to pull out the skill of graphing. So what I would do as guided practice is I would have a class baggie that has 10 color cubes in it. Some will be red, some will be blue, and some will be green. Together we'll practice writing those three color words, and then we'll pull out a cube one at a time and color it based on its color on our graph. We'll practice counting how many of that particular color we had and writing the answer here and then getting to most and least. Now this is a pretty tall order for the first day of school. So if I'm not able to get to that lesson in its entirety, then that's okay because I can always pull this activity <coughs> down the road during unit one and do it as a math center or fit it in as a fast finisher activity. So don't sweat it if you can't get to everything. Just recycle it somehow in your guided math block. All right, so that's gonna continue 
through all the lessons all the way up until we get to day 20. On day 20, we're gonna take a unit test. <coughs> Excuse me. So for every lesson, I'm sorry, for every end of unit lesson, that 20th lesson is going to be a, a unit test. The formatting for that test is all going to match the games and small group activities that they're used to. So what's great about that is that our first graders, they're not really used to taking tests. So the formatting isn't gonna mix them up. They're gonna be able to honestly answer the questions with you and they're gonna understand them better because they were created using the same formatting that they've been practicing throughout the unit. All right, so that's the, the lowdown on how I keep my binder. And now, let's just take a peek at the small group and whole group activities. So I found these awesome boxes at Costco. It was a set of five. I left this label on so I could show you. Uh, it's called Creative Options. <coughs> I have Unit 1 and Unit 2 both in this box right now. So I'm going to be able to fit all nine units in these boxes and not have to buy anything else. So that's pretty awesome. Now, you don't need these boxes, of course, but I just thought I'd show you because I was all excited about them. <clears throat> I love that the lid opens and you don't lose it. So, um, I chose to put all my activities in gallon size Ziplocs, mostly because they aren't going to move around too much. They fit the box, and um, I like being able to see through it and see what I have. So, like I said, unit, let, unit 1, Lesson 1 is our transportation graph. So um, on the back of the baggies, I have the lesson number because let's face it, I'm going to throw these in here and I'm not going to worry about the order of them until I have a moment, a calm moment, which doesn't really happen until let's just say November. So <clears throat> having those numbers on the back will help you later down the road. On some of the cards, I did put the lesson number, but in this particular unit, unit one, I did not. So. Um, for that unit, you will need to kind of help yourself <clears throat> to know the lesson. Now, on day two, we're graphing boys and girls. I didn't need a whole gallon size baggie, obviously, for this. Um, and I haven't put in the tags that I want to make for their little graphs. It's going to be their name tags. But um, I didn't want to put it in a small baggie because then it would be shifting all around and driving me nuts. So even though I didn't need an entire gallon size baggie, I went ahead and gave it to myself. So that's just kind of how it works all the way through the lesson. Here um, on day five, um, I'm going to be making mystery bags, and these are just the tags. So once I make those mystery bags, they'll flatten out because they won't have the manipulatives in them. Um, I'll be able to step those in the bag. So I hope that makes sense. And that's just how it works. So here uh, I combine 10 and 11 because this particular game and I don't, think, I don't know if you can see it. The green cards are the same game as the pink cards. They're just um, more difficult. So this would be like day 10, and this green game is day 11. But it's the same game, so I just went ahead and put it in the same baggie. <coughs> Excuse me. One other thing I want to talk about, though, is color coding. So, oh, sorry about my hand covering the camera. Um... This game is called 10 frame fill. So I've got four orange sets for my groups that need that. But behind it, I have 20 frame fill, which would be for my enrichment. So I have four more blue sets of that game. That way when I pull it for my small group time, I'm ready to go no matter what level we're ready to play. And the same thing goes for this game. Each kid will get a different color in this game. So that's a little different way of color coding. <clears throat> That way, while they're playing, they are not able to look at each other's and um, take any answers. All right, so that's kind of the whole thing. This is uh, Unit 1 and Unit 2 games all prepped and ready to go. <coughs> I hope this helps you. Sorry about my cough. And um, I hope maybe this will shed some light on organizing those guided math lessons and making it a great year. I'll talk to you later. Bye.